So you're looking at buying a boat. I'm gonna show you an item that's often overlooked that you'll definitely wanna know the condition of it before you make your purchase. So stick with me and I'll show you. Okay, here's what we have. A uh, seacock, which like I said, is out of sight, out of mind. It's below deck. People don't really pay too much attention to it. This is actually an example from a client. We actually stepped down from a 65 Bertram to a 35 Sportfish. And knowing about this going in, that's why it's so important to have a quality survey done. But if you weren't aware, I mean, this is a pretty significant repair and maintenance item if you weren't expecting it. They need to be lubricated and exercised. I mean, this one is frozen up. And here's another example. Now you gotta think, a boat of that size, you've got 10 or 12 of these in there. And it requires hauling the boat out. And you have to access the seacocks from both sides, inside the boat and the outside of the boat because they're flanged. So it's a significant repair. And also a huge safety concern. Luckily, this captain was is really good. You should know that all these work at all times. Say a the hose on here, the hose ruptured, the clamps were in bad shape, and you started taking on water. While well, you're scrambling down there looking to turn these off, this one's frozen. You can't move it, so you'd be forced to try to plug it up some other way. This one you can see the handle is just disintegrated. So <laughs> whatever material is here in the handle, another safety issue is just floating around in your bilge, probably waiting to get sucked up in your bilge pump. Not so much the handle, but the debris and whatnot that came off of it. And you might be looking at it like, oh that's no big deal. My bilge pump can keep up with that, you know, or all three of my pumps, they could outpump that. No big deal. Okay. What happens when you can't shut this one off? That's a big boy there. That, that's a lot of water coming in the boat. And again, same scenario. It was out of sight, out of mind. If it was sprayed down periodically and just exercised, it would probably still be in good order, but this hasn't probably moved since the day it was installed. Important consideration, like I said, you're going to have on a boat that size at least two of them this large and six or eight of them this size between the air conditioners, gen set, other, other raw water systems. So a pretty significant repair if you're not prepared for it. So pull these off the shelf just for an example. You'd much rather have something like this in the boat. Say you're taking on water and these guys are just silky smooth. So that's it. Check your seacocks, lubricate them, exercise them. And as always, thank you for joining me. And please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe.